Hello everyone, my name's Dave, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up flow field pathfinding from scratch using C++ and SDL2. As you can see, all the red units follow the arrows to move towards the mouse and around the blue walls. While there are many types of pathfinding, flow field pathfinding works really well if you have lots of units that all need to move towards a single location. For example, RTS games, or even some first-person shooter games, such as a simple Retro Space Zombies one that I created, but haven't uploaded any videos or code for yet, where large waves of units all move towards the player's location from any room on the level. The way Flow Field Pathfinding works is that I've set up a 2D grid where each tile can either contain a wall or be empty space. The pathfinding algorithm starts by looking at the final target location, which for this demo happens to be the mouse. It then assigns a number that represents the distance away from the target location. So in this case the distance is zero because it is the target location. From there it looks at four different tiles that surround it in a plus shape, checks if each of them is empty space, and if they have a distance assigned yet or not. If not, the distance assigned becomes the current distance, plus one, and the tile is then added to a queue. The process is then repeated for each of the tiles on the queue until every empty space that's reachable has a distance assigned to it. From there, for every tile in the world, it checks the surrounding eight tiles to see which one has the lowest distance value, then assigns a direction that points to that tile. Then, the unit follows the direction of whatever tile its center point is currently in until it reaches the target tile. The code that calculates all the pathfinding can be seen in front of you. All the source code is available on my website, link is in the description. I've also got a bunch of other games, code, and tutorials on my channel and website, so be sure to check those out if you're interested. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.